These are friends of ours from New Zealand who've come here on a, a very special national holiday. It's Waitangi in uh, New Zealand, which is uh, a little bit, I understand, like our Independence Day. Um, it's a very unifying day, I'm told, in New Zealand. And anything that unifies people, as far as I'm concerned, is a good thing. Uh, but it's also quite a political day where uh, the Pakeha people, the white people, and the Māori, the indigenous people, signed a treaty uh, where they agreed to try and live harmoniously together. So this is to sort of commemorate that day, to celebrate that day. They've uh, constructed a beautiful um, a traditional fern out of our Santa Monica beach sand. Uh, and it's very, very beautiful, even from down here at, uh, at eye level. But when you see it from above, it's just, it's just amazing. The fern is a symbol of, of New Zealand more and more and more so. You'll probably see it on things like the All Blacks uh, shirts, you know, the All Blacks that do the haka. Uh, and often most, most New Zealand product these days shows the fern. Uh, so it's becoming increasingly the symbol of, of New Zealand and I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't end up being the flag one day. We built one of these ferns before in, uh, in Auckland in New Zealand and you can look at that on our, uh, on our website, again, madefromnewzealand.com. We came over with seven Kiwis who did this before in, uh, in Bethels and then a whole bunch of New Zealanders just turned up to help us make it happen here. It's uh, almost the size of a football field, nearly 300 feet long and 150 feet wide at the base. The company in New Zealand called Fabric Shelters made the sort of the template that we put down on the ground and we, we used to get the shape because it has to be perfect like nature. You can't really see what you're doing until you get into a helicopter, that's the trouble. What I'm wearing and uh, what a few other people are, uh, are wearing today, that, that's how we've been, um, that's how we've funded this whole rather ambitious project. Each of the shirts has a, has a magic thread inside them. Uh, we had a climbing sock given to us by Sir Edmund Hillary, who was uh, probably our greatest living New Zealander. Sir Edmund Hillary was the, uh, the first man to climb Mount Everest. And um, we've woven that, that th uh, sock into a fine merino thread and it gets sewn into each and every of the uh, 10,517 shirts. We've got a whole lot of great New Zealand companies involved like Air New Zealand and uh, a couple of banks down there. They've kind of supported this wild and crazy idea by, uh, by buying shirts for their staff and their, and their corporate customers. Your sand sucks. <laughs> uh, it's very different sand <laughs> and uh, it's a lot drier and uh, it's, it's coarser and uh, it doesn't hold water as, as well and so my biggest fear was that it wouldn't take the shape and so we'd end up with uh, something that looked more like a slug than a, a fern. But it's turned out beautiful. Thank you very much for the loan of your sand. It's a beautiful country um, uh, with a love of the environment um, which, which of course I and, and uh, all of my Santa Monicans share um, and it's a nuclear free zone which, uh, uh, as I pointed out earlier to someone from New Zealand, um, so is Santa Monica.